With November the 5th coming up, uh, the latest uh, discussion on Brit Mums is who would you like to roast? Is there anybody that's upset you so much that you'd uh, give them a good roasting, just like our guy, guy folks? And I've been thinking long and hard about this as because in my personal life, well, there isn't anybody really. Um, I have had a recent to do with somebody who I told exactly what I felt and I think that person may be quite upset with what I had to say but it's what I felt and I was honest and truthful as to where I stood. Well if I think of politicians then no I wouldn't give anybody a roasting at the moment I just think the whole world is in such a bad economic state that whoever was going to get into power was going to have a tough job. Um, I think if I was going to roast anybody it's when I pick up a newspaper and I see people of all different ages harming young children and that is something I can't get my head around. There was a young couple I read about recently who were probably in their very early 20s and they were forcing spiders into a child's mouth, a, a little two-year-old or a three-year-old. Of course they were scaring him to death and that child will have problems for the rest of his life and what the hell are you doing? Why? I just don't get it. Don't even get me started on paedophiles or, you know, and but these paedophiles are people from, they're not just old, dirty old men who was the original, uh, you know, stereotype we had for paedophiles. Now they're like young 20s and they're people who should have their head on their shoulders, who should have a, a, an idea of what is right from what is wrong. And touching any child or abusing any child in any form or manner, even if it's psychological, like the spider in the mouth, which is awful, is wrong. And it makes me so angry that, yes, I would get those people and stick them on a bonfire um, and shoot fireworks up their backside as well, because... Uh, what the hell are they thinking? I don't know. I also think um, any woman out there who thinks she has a right to sleep with a married man and goes ahead and does that and thinks she's uh, all right, that she's not upsetting anyone, you are wrong. There's something about marriage that is sacred and shouldn't be touched and as much as you fancy that bloke and as much as he's coming on to you because maybe he is a tosser um you can't go there until that marriage is broken down because there is a woman sitting at home who may be oblivious to the fact um and she will be very very hurt and it would be down to you if you decide to do that uh personally is my ex I discovered somebody was uh, sleeping with him so long after it had actually happened and it had been going on for such a long time and my thoughts as the wife who was cheated on was why firstly him why didn't you have the guts just to come and say look it's over we'd been in trouble for a long long time it's true just tell me and then go and do what your own thing don't don't create something behind my back that I then find out through everybody new apart from me. How, you know, that's just total disrespect for me. And as for her, I really did get angry with her because she was working in our hotel as a, a, a bar maid at the time, classical. She knew we were married. She knew there were two young children involved. Uh, the way she went about it, had a lot of consequences, apart from me, leave me aside, I'm a grown up, but my two children really suffered because of that. And of course, they felt really taught. Their father obviously was the first wrong in this because he should have just, we, we, we should have just split up and then he could have gone and done whatever he liked. But those two little ones really suffered. It wasn't just that moment in time. It went on throughout all of their teenhood. I just think if anybody is going to break up a relationship, um, they should think long and hard beforehand. And when I read an article in a magazine about these women who are proud that they are helping out these, uh, you know, sad married men, 
you're wrong. You're very, very wrong. And uh, there is just no way on heaven and earth that I will ever condone what you're doing. Go and get yourself your own boyfriend. And if it's about sleeping around or getting expensive gifts, uh, there's plenty of other ways to do that without taking somebody's man. I, I cannot stand lies. Uh, I think it's best to come out and, and tell the truth most of the time. So peop anybody around me who has a problem, uh, I would like them to step forward and say, look, Marianne, we think this is wrong. Um, I don't agree with this. Uh, get it out in the open. Let's talk about it. If these things don't come out, the problems get bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, and they become even more difficult to solve afterwards. Because I give so much in my friendships and to the people around me, I suppose maybe I expect the same back. Uh, and maybe that's wrong with me, wrong of me, um, because not everybody thinks the same, or not everybody can do the same.